Self-service advertising, do local businesses use these tools? And if so, do they like them? We'll find out in this episode. Corey's Local Marketing Minute is brought to you by iPublish Media. Increase new accounts and grow local ad revenue by delivering the types of campaign SMBs want to buy today. Learn more by visiting iPublishMedia.com or by emailing sales at iPublishMedia.com. And now, the shaman of local marketing, Corey Elliott. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, in the local market, there are a lot of ways to buy advertising, specifically from a local media company. So what method is used the most? Let's dig in. Earlier this year, we asked 2,459 local advertisers, how do you buy your advertising? And we gave them five choices. They could choose more than one, however they bought it, via email with the rep, in person, over the phone, through a self-serve portal or website interface, or a mobile app. Here's how it broke down. 76% of them purchased via email with a rep, 55% in person, 55% over the phone, 43% through some kind of self-serve portal, and 21% through a mobile app. Now, let's concentrate on these guys. We'll call these uh, um, our, these are our portal peeps. I guess that would make this our non-portal peeps. I guess, I don't know. Now, when you combine this, it ends up being 49%. 49% of the businesses we surveyed did at least one of these two things, if not both. And they could have done these other things too, but they did this. And I wanna get into the portal peeps here. Some local media companies have built their own self-serve portals with varying degrees of success. And for some, it was a way to address that very long tail of local businesses. Those businesses so small that it's not really effective to send somebody out to them. So, have them come to you, right? Makes sense. We're taking care of that long tail. Well, we found out something interesting about the portal peeps. So who are the portal peeps? Again, you might be thinking that long tail. When compared to non-portal peeps, those that didn't use self-service at all, these guys had about the same gross revenue, maybe just a little bit more. They were bigger in terms of employees, on average had 21% more employees, and they averaged out to be about 15 years old. Also, we looked at the number of different media types they bought against non-portal peeps. The portal peeps averaged about 5.9 different media types against 4.6 for the other group. And they buy more digital. So they're bigger, younger, buy more, and buy more digital. Doesn't sound like the end of that long tail, does it? Now, when I say they buy more digital, what digital are they buying? I should mention this is what they're buying through a self-service portal. What do you think they said? What was the number one thing they bought through a self-service portal? Ads on social media. 58% of them bought social media ads through a self-service portal. What was number two? With 34% buying, SEM. Now in the third spot, I'll add anything that got over 20% of them saying they bought it through a self-service portal. Nope, that's it. The next highest thing, only 13% of them bought. So this is the self-service portals they're talking about. Everything else is very small. So now, starting to paint a different picture of who's using these things, right? And it makes you wonder, do they actually like buying through these portals? Especially when it comes to local media. Well, we asked them. Now we asked everybody, what did they prefer? And again, let's concentrate on just those people who bought something through a self-service website or a mobile app. Remember, our choices were, Email, in-person, phone, self-service portal, app. We said, okay, you can only choose one of these. Which one of these things do you prefer? What's your number one? What percentage said self-service? Remember, these are the ones buying self-service. How many of them prefer self-service? 25%, number one, via email with the sales rep. 39%, another 21% said in-person, 8% said over the phone, and 4% said an app. So that means over two thirds want some kind of in-person contact. We prefer in-person contact. Even if it's email, as long as somebody else is answering, going back and forth. 29% want some kind of self-service or an app. For those of you who like to add things up, yes, this comes to 97%. And yes, there was 3% who said some other way. What, what other, what other? I don't know. Now, these self-service people are saying they prefer to talk to somebody. But if you still don't believe me, there's some other data in this survey that kind of backs this up. They displayed pretty high percentages when it came to buying online from a local media rep. What do I mean? When a cable rep pitched digital along with the cable package, 65% of the time it was bought. And we saw this for other non-digital media. Radio, 70% of the time. TV, 74% of the time. Newspaper, 80% of the time a digital element was offered. It was purchased by these portal people, which suggests talking to them might be a good thing. Oh, and I should have told you this. These portal people plan to spend 14% more in 2021 than non-portal people on local advertising. And it doesn't stop there. They plan to spend on digital services too. One last thing about this group that gives you a clue that maybe they aren't portal people. 
Uh huh? When we ask, what is the number one thing you want out of a local media rep? Know what they said? Marketing expertise. Now, if somebody was enchanted with self-service portals, would that be the number one thing they want out of their local ad rep? Maybe. Meaning suck all the knowledge out of their brain and then go buy the stuff yourself. Seems like a lot of work. But here's another clue. Farther down on the list, lots of products. That isn't as important. And if you still don't believe me about all this, about how the businesses that are using self-service may not want to be using self-service, we gave them a chance to tell us. We asked an open-ended question to 2,811 local businesses. Namely, what could a local media company do for you? What would make your life better. And some did say have more self-service capabilities. How many out of 2,811? Nine. In case you're playing at home, that's 0.32%. Heck, you know what? Margin of error. I'll let you round it up to one. I'm not saying there isn't a place for self-service portals, but I think it has to be put in context. We try to hit it home a lot in this series. We hear local businesses want media companies to be local marketing experts. Not so much a local media company, a local marketing company. That sure has assets, but that's what they want. Now, how they place their ad can develop. Remember, the number one communication form is email, so they want that interaction. They want your marketing expertise. So if you're thinking about creating a DIY portal, keep all of these things in mind. The kind of companies who tend to use them and what those companies want. And if you are developing a portal, maybe you should ask yourself, D-I-Y. See what I did there with the Y? You've been watching Corey's Local Marketing Minute, sponsored by our friends at iPublish Media. Learn more at iPublishMedia.com. And if a few minutes with Corey isn't enough, you can hear more of his insights on the Local Marketing Trends podcast. Just look for the podcast link on BorellAssociates.com.